what is up welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be sharing with you a little behind the scenes of my instagram content shoots so if you didn't know i just graduated college and i decided to take the time before i start my real job to actually content create full time i've been posting a lot more content on instagram so today i wanted to bring you behind the scenes of what i do for instagram i'm going to be sharing with you how i get ready what i bring to a photo shoot how i set up for the photo shoot tripod setup up, camera setup, all of that. If you guys are interested in seeing how I edit my photos on Instagram, I recently posted a video of how I edit my Instagram photos. I walk you through what apps I use and also I walk you through an actual photo that I posted on my Instagram. So if you're curious, you can check that out. I will link it down below. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, make sure to subscribe to my channel and definitely go check out my Instagram. That is where I post all of this creative content that I am talking about so you guys can follow along on my journey post-grad life as well as being a full-time content creator for the meantime so i hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get into it first off i like to get ready the first thing i like to do is do my hair normally i like to straighten it and curl it with my straightener and then sometimes i will put extensions in Then I will move into makeup. I like to usually do a natural makeup look depending on what concept I'm going for. Okay, so here are all the things that I like to bring to a shoot. A little behind the scenes of my YouTube videos. I love to put everything on a white sheet that's on my bed, so I take it off and put it down on here. Okay, so let's get into what I like to bring to a shoot. The first thing is the camera that I'm obviously holding right now. Um, I also like to bring two tripods, so I bring this mini handheld one, and then I also bring this larger one that I can adjust really well, depending on what location I'm shooting in. I also like to bring extra batteries because my camera battery dies really quickly, so I invested in another battery, and I always have them both fully charged when I go out for a shoot. Next up, I bring my phone, of course, and a portable charger just in case my phone ends up dying. I do use my phone as a remote shooting device, so I need to have the charger just in case. I also bring my phone for the behind the scenes videos that you guys see on my Instagram. Then I obviously pack clothes, so I just brought out a pair of jeans. I'll bring a bunch of different outfits um, to change into just if I'm doing more than one shoot in a day. I'm actually gonna share with you the outfits that I have planned out for today as well, so you can kind of see that process. And then um, I bring a brush because just in case my hair needs a little bit of brushing, obviously hair ties too are a great idea. And then I also bring props. So I just threw this bag in, but literally any props that you want to use, succulent this is also looking good for the youtube video so i threw that in there a little bit of greenery um and then a bag obviously to put all this in so that's the main basics that i bring with me to a shoot a lot of the times i'm actually shooting at home so i don't really need to bring all of this with me normally i'll just bring my tripod um charger possibly a speaker outside and my props of course but if i'm going out somewhere i will bring a bag and i will throw everything in the bag don't want to forget anything but yeah just wanted to add that in there okay so let's get into the outfit okay so for outfit number one i am doing my whole concept is kind of a summary first day of summer post so i'm gonna post in one of these bathing suits from cupshe i've done a lot of videos on cupshe bathing suits so if you guys are interested in watching those i'll also link it down below so outfit number one summary first day of summer concept i also want to incorporate this really pretty kimono lace cover-up i might use this bag but i also might use this in a different concept so that's outfit number one Okay, outfit number two, I really wanted to incorporate this blue dress. I actually got off of Poshmark. It's like a layered dress. It's from the brand, the Target brand, um, Massimo. And then I also have this straw bag. So this was literally $12 from, I believe, Zaffo. I'm going to link it down below. But the cutest bag ever, so I really want to incorporate that. I think I'm going to do some kind of like summery floral picture with this outfit so this is another one that i'll be trying out today so i have this really cute romper that i also got from target it has this really pretty 
kind of lace detail on the top. And then these shoes, which I actually got from Red Dress Boutique, there's just this really cute kind of like espadrille style. I'm going to link these down below. And then I also have a prop that I want to use, so you're probably not going to see too much of the outfit in this version. I could honestly use the other outfits for this one too, but I wanted to show you guys. So I actually took this paper, I printed it out off of my computer, and I cut it out with a razor on like one of those mat boards, and I got this awesome star. So I'm actually, I was inspired by another Instagrammer. Um, who did a lightning bolt and I wanted to do something obviously different but kind of the same concept So I'm gonna try and shoot that and you guys will see the finished look One more thing I wanted to share with you before we move on are these nipple covers I actually got this for taking my graduation photos It is literally perfect for an outfit like this with the romper where you don't want your bra to show or even a dress So they're just they come in this box. They're from Walmart I'm gonna link them down below in case you guys are interested, but they just come with these little covers that you stick them onto and um, they're reusable so these are literally awesome. Okay guys so I am in my backyard. I'm in like a pretty like secluded place. I always find like different areas in my backyard that I can take pictures in front of. So for this outfit I'm wearing the blue dress with these shoes and I'm gonna use this bag as a prop so I'm gonna shoot in front of the shed and I'm gonna Photoshop that out so my whole thought process going through this is I think about what I can Photoshop and manipulate post photo to fix like what I want to fix so that's gonna be gone don't worry about that I just kind of want that like yellow background and I can even manipulate the color in Photoshop too so I don't really have to worry about that too much that is my first like concept idea so this is where I'm gonna be shooting, standing, and I'm gonna do a few different poses. And then I have my tripod set up for my camera to go on there, vertical, um, so it'll post better dimensions on Instagram. And then I also have my phone, which I'm gonna set up um, to show myself doing like a behind the scenes uh, up here. We are at our second location with our second outfit. I am still in my backyard. So for this photo, since I want to do a photo for the first day of summer, I thought I would put on a bikini and take a picture in front of my pool. I really wanted the blue in the Instagram picture in the background. My Lightroom filters actually work really well with the color blue, so I like to incorporate that in there. So that's what I'm doing. I have my tripod set up there, and then I'm just gonna kind of play with this. I'm also gonna do a few different angles. I'm not just gonna leave it like that, um, just cause I like to kind of be creative with the angles and see what photos I can come up with. So that is outfit number two, and I'm gonna show you guys a little behind the scenes.
I'm back inside at my desk. This is where all the magic happens. If you guys are interested in kind of my general step-by-step -step on how I edit my Instagram photos, I will link that video right here and down below. You guys can check that out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know if you guys want to see more behind the scenes of Instagram content creation. I'd be happy to share that with you guys. Also, don't forget to check out my Instagram where I post all this creative content. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye!